is Red Feather from Grepax. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to create textured text. Open Krita, create the text you would like to use. Also, add a nice background color of your choice. Once this is done, highlight the vector layer that holds the text. Right click the Krita vector layer, scroll down to Layer Styles, and click. Once the Krita Layer Styles window appears, make sure the enabled effect has a check mark in the box. It should by default. Then scroll down to Krita Bevel and emboss effect. Highlight it and put a check mark in the box. Then scroll down to Krita Texture. Highlight and put a check mark in the box. Once this is done in Krita, notice the function page to the right and how it has brought forth patterns. This gives the ability in Krita to use any of these beautiful patterns as a texture for your text. And if you have watched our prior video on how to make your own fill pattern, you could use yours. Let me resize our text in order to give you a better view What I like about this Krita feature is how it updates, allowing you to see the different patterns so as to decide what look you would like for your text. Also, as you may have noticed, although I started out with red text, as I add different Krita patterns, for the texture, our color becomes offset. There could be a couple of reasons for this. For example, some Krita patterns are developed with color and some just black and white. This is one reason, but there are more. So let us take a look at what happens if we change the color of, our, of the text and as we apply the Krita texture a similar offset still occurs. Once you have found the Krita texture you would like to use for your text click OK. This will return you to the canvas. Once back to the Krita canvas, go to Layers, adding another layer. Move this new paint layer below the vector layer that holds the text. Then right click the vector layer and scroll down to Merge with Layer Below and click. Now you may have noticed the pattern I chose for my Krita texture. I chose this pattern because I think it is great for multicolored text. So as a bonus, enjoy. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like. And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The beginning and end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.